Welcome back to Warlord Beeple's uh, Trade Tutorial Part 2. Uh, now we're going to be looking at uh, these little province modifiers a little bit, and we'll also be talking about how to set up merchants so that you can get the most out of your trade. Uh, every, if you zoom out, you can see these little little boxes, and they say local trade power plus 10, uh, then important center of trade plus 20, naval force limit plus 2. What these do is, well, the naval force limit's obvious, it increases your uh, naval force limit over here. And then the trade power bonus is a trade power bonus on that province. So you can look at trade right here in the bottom of, if you select any province, it's on the very bottom. Uh, if you hover over trade power, uh, it shows you, so I have some buildings in this province, I have a dock, which increases trade power by plus 0.33. Uh, you can see that right there, it says trade power increased plus 0.33. Uh, canal gives plus two trade power. Marketplace plus two. Uh, all, co all the coastal provinces get plus 1.5 trade power. And then you get this huge important center of trade. Uh, this is just Europe Universalist's way of, mark of marking important provinces that get little bonuses to how much trade value they have. This means these provinces are worth more if you're trying to have a strong trade node. And then we have the Rhine Estuary which is this that gives the plus 5 naval limit and plus 10 trade power. Uh, and then I have ro a road network and a trade depot which give a m modifier of plus 25%. Uh, these modifiers are either very useful or not that useful depending on uh, if you have a lot of trade power in the province and because I have local trade power plus 20% and pl or I mean not 20% sorry local trade power plus 20 and plus 10 that modifier ends up being very large and making this province 53.7 uh, trade power total what that does for you is it determines how much trade power or it determine it's part of what determines how much trade power you have in the trade node uh, see so if you hover over current trade power you can see I get 198.8 .8 from my provinces, and because Holland is such a good, tr that that means that that's that's where this goes to. So I have 53.7 trade power in this province, and a hundred and it, and you can see that m maybe a quarter, about a quarter of, well actually more than a quarter of my province's trade power comes directly from Holland, and these are fairly important in the early game and very important uh, for landlocked people and people that aren't going to have a lot of boats <coughs> uh, to increase your trade power you're going to need provinces with high trade power uh, after the 1700s and later into the game and uh, even more so for countries with lots of boats most of your trade power is going to come from light ships as you can see here I get 2,827 trade power from light ships versus 198 trade power from provinces. So my light ships are, of, are mu do much more for my trade power than, the, than my provinces ever could, really. Um, that's because I'm competing with England. And I... Th let's see where my ships... Yeah, I have 400 light ships here. So that I can collect as much trade as I possibly can. <coughs> and England has far fewer ships. He has 260, whereas I have 505. Five. Um, and your trade power is also modified by this uh, percent right here. This is increased. Your your ships and your provinces are both right here. As you can see, there's Holland right there. That 53.7 is from Holland. And Twerpen is this province that also has a important serve trade bonus. You can see what each of your provinces here, if you hover over uh, the province trade power right here, you can see what each of them adds to the province trade power, and then you can see where what your light ships are adding to trade power, and if you have a merchant present, what he's adding to the trade power. Uh, merchants don't add that much trade power, I just have 17, so I threw one on my capital. I generally wouldn't do that, but if you have an excess of merchants and you don't really have anywhere to put them, you can put them here. Uh, and this trade power percent uh, is a modifier of these two. So you add these two up and then multiply... And then you multiply by your... Uh, and then it shows you right there. Multiply by 1.78. Uh, so you just take these two and whatever this says and multiply it by... You, add it, you have to add a 1 there. 
but then you can multiply it by that percentage. See, like this guy, you would add a... I mean, you wouldn't add a 1 there, because he's negative, but you would take this, you would take 100% minus 63.6% .6 to find out what he gets total. See, right there, he gets 36, or point, it's multiplied by 0 0.36, whereas mine is multiplied by 1.784. Um, yeah, but you can figure out what is happening here with your trade power. This is, the multiplier is a huge part of it, obviously, because uh, I have maybe 3,000 trade power and I'm at, at, from just my provinces and boats, and, but at the, the end trade power after the multiplier is um, 6,765. You can see lots of bonuses here, your stability, your prestige, uh, your power projection will affect this, uh, your colonies affect this, so yeah, Dutch Louisiana, Dutch Columbia, and New Holland, and uh, Vernica, de Staten, Van America. I just typed in um, Ameri uh, United States of America in Dutch. That's what that colony's name comes from, and Cuba. So all your colonies give you a little trade bonus. Um, some countries... Oh, and that... Uh, Vernig Oost Indisch Company is an East India company, which gives you a bonus too. Uh, all your colonies give you uh, trade power bonus, and then you also get tra trade power bonuses from certain ideas. Um, the trade ideas. Uh, <coughs> you can see competitive merchants is one of them. Uh, where shrewd commerce purchases? I'm just looking for where that competitive merchants is coming in. Uh, whatever, y you can look at them as you go through the ideas. I'm not going to go through and try to figure out where I'm getting all these. Uh, I believe the shrewd commerce practice is in there. Yeah, shrewd commerce practice is plus 10% right at the top. And competitive merchants is coming in from somewhere else, but I'm not sure. But that's where those top few come from, and then it goes colonies, and then it goes uh, power projection, prestige, stability. Those all increase uh, it by a little bit and your trade efficiency which you can uh, find by going to the trade screen trade efficiency 175 percent right there uh, and anything over uh, 100 percent then it just adds it to that and see I get plus 75 percent because I'm at 175 percent uh, being embargoed by Great Britain is really costing me a lot. Uh, the more trade power someone has, the more an embargo works against them. See, I'm being embargoed by France and Great Britain. Uh, Great Britain has a large amount of trade power here, 45 or 4,633, whereas France has very little. So France's embargo is barely hurting me, and, Br and Britain's is hurting me by a lot. Uh, and then you get trade power, however much trade power, or however much trade you're transferring in, uh, also helps. So I'm transferring trade from, with your merchants, that is. So I'm transferring from Lubeck, Champagne, North Sea, and Ivory Coast. Uh, I'm transferring 100, and, I'm transferring 105 gold from Lubeck, 30 from the North Sea, 73 from Ivory Coast, and then like 300 some from, um, the Ivory, from the Ivory Coast. This is Champagne, I'm not sure if I just called it the Ivory Coast or not. Uh, so that's why I'm getting these little transfer from Lubeck or transfer from, from Champagne or from the North Sea bonuses. Um, and if you look, you can see that I'm not doing as much damage to England, even though I have more trade power. And that's because England is, has some idea that gives him a bonus uh, when uh, embargoing someone. I don't have that bonus. Almost all my bonuses have to do with increasing my own trade and not embargoing others. <coughs> um, I think that will do it for my trade video. Uh, just like my military tutorials, please let me know anything else that I could clarify. Uh, again, trade is very important, er, depending on your country, trade can be very important. Uh, as as you can see, I get 1,300 in gold from it, so it is my main source of income in this game, and I make t 
tons and tons of money. Uh, this was much more money than someone would even make if they had unified the Holy Roman Empire, because I can just get so much from my trade node without having to do very much. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, again, please leave any uh, questions in the comments, and I will try to answer them as fast as I can. Thank you.